Burn them out. Now these are not ticks that have been embedded into your skin that you need to burn out. These are Japanese. <laughs> Now, I, I realized this during the editing process that uh, I actually fucked up the recording of this level a little bit and the recording of the previous couple levels and maybe the next level as well, but the aspect ratio is kind of fucked up. I had it set to widescreen <clears throat> when it should have been on normal, so the compass is a little uh, oblong, I guess. That's one way that you can notice, but most likely nobody noticed and nobody cares except for me, so just so ignore it. what was on widescreen? You Xbox settings? Xbox. Yeah, if you go into the dashboard, there's like a system setting thing where you, um, when you're on standard definition, you can change it to uh, widescreen uh, widescreen format or standard format, and it was set to widescreen for a mm. couple of these missions. But I fixed it for the rest of the guide. So I've never looked into that for any of my guides. By default, it's on standard, okay. which is correct. But, uh, yeah. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. So, this is a frustratingly difficult level, because you make such little progress, like you, for the amount of guys that you have to kill, um, and it's, it's just so frustrating because, like, you barely move anywhere, and it takes a huge amount of time. Mm -hmm. Like, I think this entire mission got cut down to, I don't know, maybe 18, 20 minutes of video, and mm -hmm. it probably took me an hour and a half to wow. beat. So, it's frustrating as shit, and it's just like another one of those levels where, you know, guys come flying out at you, and they throw so many fucking grenades. The hardest part is the very last checkpoint. This part, it's tough, but it's manageable. Uh-huh. Um, the last part is really the hard part. You're going to want to hold on to your flamethrower for the whole level because you have unlimited ammo for it and it's really good for close quarters combat and moving through uh, the different parts of the trenches. So after it looks like it's kinda clear, just wait a second, make sure you don't hear any grenades flying over, make sure you don't hear any uh, bonsai uh, guys running at you. And I got an, a message, I, I might have used bonsai and kamikaze incorrectly before and just kinda interchanged them. The kamikaze refers to the pilots, mm -hmm. and the bonsai refers to uh, uh, the foot soldiers mm. that come charging at you. Wow, that guy just went flying back about a foot. That was fucking awesome. And so it doesn't refer to bonsai trees? Maybe it does. <laughs> Maybe the bonsai trees are suicidal <laughs> in nature. <clears throat> when you move forward an inch there, you're going to hear the bonsai soldiers, and your stupid-ass teammates are going to block you from getting behind some pieces of cover that are very helpful to get behind, so keep that in mind. Sometimes getting through parts of this level is 100% luck, and you just need a little bit of luck. Bust out your flamethrower and walk forward slowly. As soon as you hear them, run backwards a little bit and start shooting that flamethrower, because they're going to come charging at you. And after you kill out those guys, you're going to get a checkpoint. Finally, that's the first checkpoint. Three minutes and 40 seconds into the video, and in, in total distance traveled, we've barely even moved. Yeah. Now you're coming up to the part where um, there's, there's still going to be more guys on top of the trenches firing down in at you. And pretty soon here, you're going to come up on a couple of snipers up in the trees. And there's a, a turret mounted around this corner here, so you might have to bounce a grenade off the wall and into his little cubby hole. This, this level reminded me of... No fighting in the war room, almost, um, in Call of Duty 4. I know it's... God, that's a reference to another movie. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. I want to say it's a uh, Stanley Kubrick film, but... Um, anyway, the, uh, there's this one section on Call of Duty 4, No Fighting in the War Room, where you're just 
crawling along the like the bottom of this nuclear bunker and uh, you just have to inch your way around these corners and make sure that uh, you take out each guy individually and there's just no margin for error at all tree snipers are so much crazier than building snipers like you have to plan like days in ahead if you want to be a tree sniper Oh well, no, not really. The yeah. um, in some of the missions, you can see the tree snipers like climbing up into the tree with little really? ropes. Yeah, they they just put ropes up there so then they can pull themselves up really quickly. Huh? So they're not uh, planning days in advance. Oh, it seems like you would. You yeah. just have to be waiting there mm -hmm. until the enemy comes. Cause like if you see some guy climbing a tree, it's a dead giveaway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there's a couple situations. Well, on the second level, I think it was called Little Resistance. If you shoot this guy in, out of the tree really quickly, you can pick up his rifle. Oh, his nice. sniper rifle, which is nice because you, you don't get a whole lot of opportunities to use sniper rifles in this game. and They're definitely uh, the best guns to use. And in a second, I actually got lucky and there was a sniper rifle on the ground, the scoped Arusaka. So I'm just spraying and praying, trying to take out as many guys as I can. And I probably should have used my grenades a little bit more liberally. Because you can pick up quite a few of them throughout the game, or throughout this level. Mm -hmm. So, keep that in mind. And, obviously, if you get the scoped, pick that up. Even though you're in the trenches, it might be a little bit hard to aim. It's so It's so much more accurate than the or it's easier for me to pinpoint my shots compared to um, uh, the standard iron sights. The standard fare. No, I said standard iron sights. <laughs> I know. The standard fare of aiming mechanisms. Standard issue weapon. Mm-hmm. Now this can be a tricky part coming up here because there's going to be a couple guys in the trenches up on the left in the kind of in the dugout area that has the roof and there's going to be some guys at the top of the hill to the right so you have to kind of rush into the area on the left take them out first and then make your way up the hill all without dying because you haven't got a checkpoint yet so so email yeah oh, all right Oh, we got some really long-winded ones. Um, Maybe not that. We got T minus, not that long. Save it for the next one. I do have something uh, to comment about. Oh, okay. Army of Two got announced. Oh, Army of Two, Two. I think I would rather play the Fifty Cent Blood on the Sand. <laughs> that game actually looks like it was pretty fun. Yeah. And it looks like uh, it's what Army of Two should have been. Really? They took my suggestion. It looks like, at least from the videos that I've seen, uh -huh. every guy that you kill, you get money. And there's a money <laughs> counter in the corner, and it just goes up. <laughs> That's awesome. It, I mean, 50 Cent Game looks just like Army of Two, except uh, it's 50 Cent. And, like, it knows it's a joke, and they don't take itself too seriously. Which is always good. And Army of Two was just bad on every fucking level. Ugh, Concept. Wasn't bad, right? But execution oh, yeah. failed, massive failure. Um, so I think we got time for a quick email. Uh, actually, no. Well, oh, have you ever got so pissed off at a game that you didn't complete it? If so, what game was it? I think you know the answer for me for this question. Oh, you don't know it? Okay, Hitman Blood Money. Oh, you didn't. Oh, oh yeah, it's you, coming back to me. That was you, a long time ago. You didn't have to. Like do everything as hard as I made it for myself on that game, uh -huh. but I was going for 100% stealth on every level, and there's this one ferry boat mission. <laughs> oh, I tried it a lot of times for yeah. you. There's this ferry boat mission where now this is fucking bullshit right here. It's all glitched out. Like he just disappeared and reappeared, and you can't shoot him. And then you have to like move forward. You're gonna see him disappear again, and then reappear. He's gone. Oh my god, what the fuck just happened to him? No, oh, he's... There, he's gone. 
Oh, he's back and he's shooting me. <laughs> that fucking asshole. Oh, reminds me of the Iron Man demo. <laughs>